that's training hands-on. Uh, very personal, small groups. So if you if you have a unique question to your operation, um, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one information that can be had. Again, smaller groups, so it's easier to ask questions, very interactive, and it gives you um, a broad spectrum of information for the for the series. And so, um, and you don't have to go to all of them, right? It's if you really want to focus on spraying, like we did today, this is for you. It's an in-depth dive and in, in something specific, and and then tailored as the discussions manifest themselves to answer your unique questions. So it's a unique experience rather than your typical large field day um, that a lot of folks attend. Uh, you have the ability to have a specialist, you know, basically one-on-one -on -one if you'd like, and ask whatever unique question you may have. First, you need to understand your financial situation if you can afford any type of piece of equipment, including a sprayer, just given the costs. So uh, that would be number one. I think number two, then you need to think about, you know, new or used, if you're thinking about um, that, and then sizing. So what size do you really need? We discussed that a lot today about how to appropriately size pieces of machinery like a sprayer. So do you need an 80 foot sprayer, 120 foot sprayer? You know, in today's market, those sprayers can get pretty big, which means more expensive, right? New or used, but then you really also need to think about, you know, the option to custom hire, right? That's a, you won't take on those ownership costs uh, that can drive profitability on farms. But there's a timeliness issue, right? Is, is making sure that custom applicator can get to your own time because um, during critical uh, stages throughout uh, the growth period of corn and beans, you know, you're gonna need to get that herbicide, you know, pesticide on the ground and, and get that applied without losing too much yield. And so timing is critical. And so those kind of the, really the key factors I think that you really need to consider now, if this was, you know, four years ago when times, prices of grain weren't looking too hot, weren't too hot, um, and margins were thin, but now we've got some, some good prices, hopefully some good profitability, and so there uh, may be some opportunities if new and used machinery is even available right now. And uh, or there's still a shortage of used machinery out there, and it doesn't matter if you're in agriculture or just a regular person looking to get a new vehicle, right? It's our new to you vehicle, new and used supplies are low. And so we're gonna see some interesting times in the next year and a half, two years, while all industries kind of hopefully get back to normalcy. So, um, so yeah, those are, those are things I would definitely focus in on.